Welcome back to Boss Talk Radio. This is your host, Elena Banks, and my lovely co-host, Whitney. Hey. How you doing? Good. This weather got me kind of blah today. It's been raining I know. Today. The weather's horrible in Atlanta, but I'd like to say happy, I guess, belated 4th of July. Yes, it was the 4th of July. I hope everyone enjoyed their extended weekend. How did you enjoy it? Um, I didn't get to be with family, so I actually went to Houston. In eight. No. But you have barbecue. Yeah. I, I, feel I, like the, I had the ribs. I said, since I can't get the grill, I'll go to Houston. You're supposed to went to like a black folks rib. I was, thinking, I was um, thinking Fat Mac probably was, Lion probably was out the door. It so, probably was. Yeah. I stayed in the house all day yesterday and I slept all day. I you haven't did that in years. When I say I slept, slept, I woke up. This song went back to sleep. Well, I didn't have no problem going back to sleep. And usually I That's can't sleep if the sun is up. I slept all day and then I was like, you know what? I'm just feeling so bad. So just so happened, I got a phone call and I got up and I went and watched the fireworks. Oh, that was good. And it was just so sweet. The simple things just mean the most. And it was so nice. The fireworks was so amazing. And since then, no one invited me to a cookout. I went to cookout. You did? You got me a barbecue chicken sandwich. <laughs> but you know what I realized cookout don't have on that menu? is baked beans. Um, I don't eat cookout. Like, you don't like it? I mean, and, and then I had the um, cherry wine float. Because it's something about root beer floats. Because that's so good to me. I don't eat, I don't drink root beer, so. Yes. Well, I hope everyone enjoy the 4th of July um, weekend. And the I don't year, even, with that being said, the year is going by so fast. It's July already. already. We have over halfway through the year already. Have you accomplished a lot of stuff you said? No. And I'm depressed, y'all. I'm, I'm behind schedule. <laughs> She ain't going. No, let me stop. <laughs> but no, I haven't done as much as I would as I planned. So I'm kind of. I have accomplished maybe two or three of, maybe three of them. I have about four more to go, and I'm I don't to know get if I'm gonna make it and, and speed up because time going by so fast. Time is going by. And yesterday, said, and we sitting here talking about this, and I just sitting here said I slept all day yesterday. So in my mind, I feel like yesterday was a wasted day because I could have been doing something productive. But, but really, you I think my body because, probably needed to yes, rest. You needed because I've been rest. falling asleep in public places right yes. here. She needed that rest because she would fall asleep in a live remote. <laughs> so <laughs> your body needed it. <laughs> um, but it felt good. And I've been crunk all day. Well, that's good. You got and it had nothing to do today. I got so much done before 12 o'clock. But now I'm just like extra, extra energy. Yeah. But um, we have coming in the studio tonight, superstar Selena. Garris. A lot of people know as Selena Johnson. Johnson. She's yes. going to be in the studio tonight, but we wanted to kind of just touch bases on some things because we're going to bring her in and probably let her rock out with us for the rest of the show. So if you are a Selena Johnson fan, please make sure to call in to 9314 Boss T yes. with all your questions or any Thing you want to run by her by her she has so much going on that i know y'all don't know about because i didn't even know a lot about it and me and her are close friends okay so she's gonna That'll school me on some things she got going on but um we got to talk a little bit about what's going on in social media in the world um first of all i gotta talk about this because this just cracks me up what? um so sierra and russell wilson got married did they i just did you know I haven't been on social media. Oh, yes, yes, girl, they done snuck in. When did they get me today? Oh my God! Congratulations. They say future about to put out an album. <laughs> they know. Oh other. my God! That's, that was so quick though. How long were they engaged? But you know what? That sound like them to do something like that, kind of sneak and not tell nobody and go have a little secret wedding. But it was some paparazzi there. So was it family or was it just the only person you saw? The only pictures that I have seen was him and her walking. And then security. Where did they get married? Riverpool. Okay. Which I have no idea what that is. Yeah, maybe. But they said Riverpool, so I don't know. But congratulations to Sierra and Russell. Yeah. Um, I guess they get to do the doo doo tonight. Finally, Russell, like, look, we finna speed this thing on. We done waited long enough. He trying to get that thing cracking. Russell couldn't wait no longer. <laughs> but um, and it's so funny because not only is Russell and Sierra. You know, in the feed and trend today, future is trending today because he's the first um, person to have three number one albums. I think I saw something about that. Not albums. Is it songs? I could have told but it may be songs. Three number songs, one songs. Because he only have, how many albums he have out? Two. 
I think he only had two albums and a lot of He's the first tapes. dude in 50 years. So he broke I some records songs. today. Okay. Uh, when I was pulling into the station, I heard him talking about it on the radio and I couldn't get most of it. But it was just so funny because it seemed like whenever she's in the press, he's in it. The same day he's yeah. in it. So it seems like they both tend to trend at the same time. I think it makes for good um, news for the media. Like, okay. But then you know some people being paid to bed they're like, damn, he can't even enjoy his moment because it's going to overshadow his little accomplishments. But who cares? I think I'm gonna just say congratulations to both of them. You know, I love this in the future. I'm looking for you. <laughs> you <laughs> Moving along. <laughs> All right, so I know you're not a basketball person. No, but I mean, what we talking about these contracts? Baby, baby, I don't, I don't know nothing about basketball, but I heard about these contracts going around. Oh baby, my god. Too. I first of all, to the NFL. Y'all I know they pissed. Y'all giving my boys coins. Them, they get pennies. And they play hard. They get concussions. They, they get concussions. They have to quit in four years. They, it's sad. I think that's so In the cold, up. rain, mud, sleep, slow, and getting cold. Honey, let's just talk about some of these. Because, you know, I had to follow. So, Jeff T, who was a former Atlanta House player, is now with the Pacers. Why would Atlanta House get rid of Jeff T? I do not know. But they I'm got not the White Howard, okay. right? Okay. I'm getting to that. Al Horford, which was the face of Atlanta House, mm -hmm. he's going to Boston Celtics. So we got rid of Jeff T and Al. Horford. And who do we get? We got Dwight Howard. Um, seventy point five million dollars with a three year contract. That's insane. I'm in the wrong field. Okay. <laughs> and I'm gonna say this one for last. But Rondo, he went to Chicago Bulls. Mm -hmm. Um. Dwayne Wade ain't made up his mind, but I heard he call it Cleveland like uh hello, hello, hello. But I will say this, there was a press conference earlier today. Um Dwayne Wade was asking for fifty million on a two year contract. From Miami? From Miami, but he wanted a longer contract. They were trying to give him fifty million dollars over a two year contract, but he wanted a longer one. Um he did, you know, I can't say did. He's inquired about coming to Cleveland. Mm -hmm. Don't know if that's going to happen. Hopefully by the time we wake up tomorrow, they can come to some agreement. Now, um, Matt Barnes went to Sacramento. He did. And we were just saw all of them yeah. at BT weekend. Um, Joe Johnson, which is a client of mine, just went from Brooklyn to Miami. Now he's in Utah. Oh, he left Miami already? What, he did one year in Miami? I don't, half a year. Oh, wow, that was quick. I don't even know if he did a whole year. So, congrats to my client, Joe Johnson. Um, he ain't never here, so it don't mean anything on Facebook. <laughs> um, and then Bill from Washington Wizards. Oh, really? Uh, he was a free agent, but he was able to stay in Washington. He got a five year deal for $130 million. Oh, my God. Those numbers are insane. Wait, but this is the. Now, Bazaar Moore, I guess that's his name, the light skinned guy from Atlanta Hawks. Uh huh. He just had a great year. Like, I never really paid him any attention until, like, this past season. He got $70 million. For how many years? I want to say for two years. Yeah, that's crazy. And the last one is Kevin Durant. How do you feel They giving him hell. Baby, taste. This is my thing. Let that man get a ring. If he feel like he need to go to um, Golden State to get his ring, let him let get him his ring. Let him pick and choose where he want to go. And at the end of the day, they went pull us some old tweet. He tweeted. Yeah. Who cares? And then this other person, um, the sports center guy, he was made fired. a statement of everybody is like so but pissed at him. Kevin clapped back at him and said, "Who gives a damn about his Uncle Tom opinions?" Like yeah. I'm pretty sure it was so much that Kevin Durant probably could take, but I knew he was gonna clap back at somebody. But this yeah. man gives the most dumbest comments and feedback to some of the things that they be saying. But I just like, if you want to go, go. That's what I see. And the thing about it is, I want to commend um, Golden State Warriors, the whole team, because the tweets and the feedback that they've been given, Kevin Durant has been so great. I like, mean, welcome yeah. to the team. Um, stay focused. Don't pay attention to the pettiness. Like, he's been letting it be known that, and hey. his mom made a tweet, too, just kind of staying positive. You know that she supports him. That is him a mom's and, boy. Yeah. But, but let me just say something. Okay, that is a power. Five. I mean, I ain't gonna lie. I'm not a Golden State fan. But, baby, that top five, but they ain't got no bench. Yeah. Now, everybody was whoop the whoop whoop. It was going crazy when Kobe and Shaq got on the same team. What'd they do? They did a little history. 
they did. did. They, they did good, but it wasn't like for the long run, the long haul. They did good, but it, it could be the same thing. Just because you have five great people on the same team, what that mean? I think he was looking out for like I want a ring. I think that's what, why he made that move. When you have been in the he... NBA and for a long time, and you retire and you don't have a ring. It's it's not a they say it's not a good feeling yeah. to retire and not have a ring. I mean I so guess that would be everybody goal. Like I would imagine once you get in the league, your goal at that point is to I wanna get a ring. And I guess And I feel like that's right. why LeBron left. LeBron's like, look, let me go get a ring. And he did that. And he did, and he came back. So it's like I wouldn't be bad at it. I'm, I'm not mad at him. Yeah. I mean, I like KD. I, he plays hard. He has great character on and off the court, first and foremost. So if he wanted to go and, and you know, it well, is he what he feel is. like he could possibly get a ring, I don't see nothing wrong with it. But, but mills, everybody giving them hell. Baby, they give the kids a red head. If I see Michael move, Jordan yeah. crying on one more <laughs> and Paul West. I want him to retire that one. That Michael Jordan post is <laughs> crying. I'm so but tired. But Westbrook, Westbrook is, gets, he's just all in the mix. Has he commented on how he felt? I don't know. I think they were saying because they were so cl That's the team that beat them. So they kind of like, why would you go to the team that y'all lost to? Y'all were so close. But it's like, he did what he felt was best for him. And I don't know. Okay, so safe as Golden State. Oh, whatever. Cause that's that's, that's, yeah, if I let that man live. Anyway. Um, but how much did he get? <laughs> Speaking of which. <laughs> I ain't got that with that. Oh, Lord. But first of all, I feel some type of way about these men and Savage just being public like this. I think it's always, I think the fact that we have social media is kind of like, boom, dead in our face now. Like, because it's been public. But you know, back then, people really weren't taking the time. You had to Google the, and exactly. you had to go online. But really now, to go and see. with social media, just everything is just like right in our face. Mm -hmm. It's like, damn, these guys really making all this money. A lot of money. A hell of a lot of money. That's that's a lot of goddamn money them boys making, and that's guaranteed I, money. Let me right? just say this. Let me just say maybe because I'm not a baseball fan, but I don't never catch a whole riff of all the baseball contracts and deals because baseball is not way there, more money. I just think um, basketball is just like one of the more mainstream sports in mm -hmm. our culture. You know what I'm saying? Like, far so, as, like, you know, our culture, like, the hip-hop, like, we're more basketball fans versus baseball, you know. Yeah, Speaking of African-Americans and stuff like this, we're more in tune with, you know, basketball Because the only time football. I really hear of big news about baseball contracts is when it's actually Atlanta Braves and they say it on the local news. Or if I'm just happening to be watching Sports Center ESPN, I hear them talk about major league contracts. Yeah. And them numbers ain't no joke. Yeah, I heard now that's some real money. Football, I feel sorry for you. <laughs> I'm gonna need y'all to switch up and start playing basketball because, girl, I would be pissed. I would too. And the, and I have seen some tweets that some um football players are putting out there that they are being like, wow, we need it. And it's not even that they make it's like an extreme difference, like the difference from football to basketball. The intensity is so risk. much different, and not only that. I feel like with football, you take way more risk with your health and life, and the money's not even guaranteed. Because if you get hurt, you don't get the money, right? Mm -hmm. With basketball, that's like guaranteed. Even if you get hurt, you still get your money, right? Mm -hmm. It's crazy. I know not people gonna be like, look, I'm gonna play basketball. <laughs> yeah, my son ain't got no uh, joy in him, so. I'm work. talking about for the athletes in school who, you know, a lot of them that's on the line that can do yeah, both. and they kind of stick to that basketball. Right, look, stick I'm, to that I'm basketball. gonna roll with basketball because they pay the most coins. Yes. Now we're gonna bring it back in, back to local because there's so much trending stuff going on here. So let's go ahead and talk about Miss Jocelyn. Oh, love and hip hop Atlanta. They keep something going. What we gonna do about this love and hip hop Atlanta? Now, um, she's supposed to be pregnant. I heard it was an old photo. Some people said it's a new one. Someone said it's an old one surfacing around. Well, you know, I just, I usually don't give into stuff. It was so funny, but I'm going to read this. And I, and this is coming from Talking Mess 2016. Shout out because I follow you on Instagram. And I told them I was going to discuss this. Mm -hmm. But they said, as most of you already know, Jocelyn, her name is revealed last night on IG that she was pregnant. One would think that it would be Stevie J's. Naturally, would be the daddy. However, not too long ago, Stevie 
<laughs> through some rainforest shade, baby. Um, now we all know the lyrics to Michael Jackson, Billie Jean. So therefore, Stevie J took to his Instagram saying, Billie Jean is not my lover. She's just a girl who claims that I am the one, but the kid is not my son. Now we love the Puerto Rican princess, but we can't help but to feel that her pregnant belly is a result of a few $5 bona fide big boxes from Popeyes. Oh my God. <laughs> However, Jocelyn is truly pregnant. We're sure her baby will be beautiful and able to fluently speak three languages. <laughs> Calligraphy, cursive, and doctor signature. What? Shade, shade, and shade. Just like his mom. Mm, mm, mm. Did you see the picture? Of her number? Because she just looked full. I think it was, a, she was pregnant a while back, right? And they said she had like a miscarriage or something. I think it's an old picture because her she picture, just had a workout picture where she was saying, get in the gym, ho. Baby, first of all, out. her whole picture game done stepped up. Yeah. That picture was too ragged. The background was hard, but she like yeah. she had a sheet on as a bra and it just looked crazy. So I don't foresee her posting. If she's pregnant, she's going to take a boss pregnancy photo. You think okay? it was a stunt? I think it's the stomach because right now, to the reunion. Lead, well, leading up to the reunion and then just trying to remain relevant because Mona ain't made a decision on what she's going to do with that cast. Oh, for next season? Mm hmm You think she don't have a spot for next season? I don't know. She done, she done chopped so many heads off. She you think the road and came to an end? I don't think it's a end. Honestly, I think a end. couple of them. If you want to talk about mm -hmm. Rose, Rashida didn't have much play this season. Her storyline getting weak. Mm -hmm. um, me, me. Um, I think her storyline, unless she, what she gonna date next? Ain't nothing there. She might be out of there. Um, Jocelyn didn't get a whole lot of play either, but I don't she know. She the one saying relevant. She's in the, the I meeting. think Tommy and Tia got more. They had more of the hype, but then the fact that everything came out to be so fraudulent yeah fake so it's like we need a whole new cast of atlanta you think but do you think there's enough of people in atlanta to actually this loving hip-hop i don't think it's enough not 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 to offend but like the quality of like actually hip-hop people to read that ass. would do it that would do it i think atlanta Mom has people big. but i think a lot of those people don't want that and i think a lot of people that will be great for this show is not, not gonna, gonna do it, it because of the track and the history and the mark that this show has already made on atlanta yeah. like it would be a boss move for mona to redo the cast and redo the cast with genuine hip-hop hip people that's in the industry that's in the industry and it not be so ratchet yeah now, will we watch it? That's up to y'all. Because, you know, it seems to me y'all like Ratchet. Y'all like watching Ratchet. Yeah. I love a good Ratchet Monday night. So, with, say, this, I can't even think of five people that's in hip-hop that would... Um, you got... Um, what's his name? You got Jazzy Faye. But he already did a show, right? His, they're trying to get his... They they trying. His, his, but just think of everybody that's in hip hop. You got JD, you got Jazz. JD, got but JD already on the show. But you still got the, the Outcast team. If even if you got either the the baby mamas or the guys or the girlfriends, if you pick something from that circle and put them on a show and made it not be so ratchet, you got to give a little drama because y'all know we got to have drama, drama, drama and sex sales. Let's just be clear. But I think if they took like something from each circle and put something dynamic because I don't really watch Love and Hip Hop New York too much. Yeah, I don't like but that's I my least favorite New York. They got their own ratchetness too. Yeah. But it ain't the fake ratchetness. Like it's for real, for real, for real, turned up New York B style type stuff. Yeah. Like for real, for real. Hit that button for me. Like it's crazy for real. So I'm just curious to see how they're going to play this out. And then I haven't even got the word yet on Love & Hip Hop Houston. I know it was at a halt that they said, okay, I think they done jumped in Miami, right? So. Love & Hip Hop Miami with, because they confirmed Trina. Um, oh, yeah, I did hear that. Now, that's Trick gonna Daddy be supposed to, now that's going to be ratchet, because Trick Daddy has no that's filter. filter. Has no filter. And he he's has already in already going in the show ain't even damn and started. And I love his trick daddy. I love his trick daddy. I can all imagine what he gonna be doing on them cameras. Have you seen one of his interviews? He has no filter. No filter. So, he don't even know what filter is. That thing gonna be good and ratchet in Miami. Well to end on a good note, there was one other thing that I did just have to speak on. Um, 
So I don't know if you saw this about the petition that's going around to get Jesse Williams fired from Grey's Anatomy. No, I didn't see that. Oh, honey, let me just put you up on game. Why? So um, I just want to read this, and it'll give you the full. So Shonda Rhimes backs Jesse Williams against the petition to fire him from Grey's Anatomy. So shortly after the BET Awards aired, black people across America felt a boost of pride and moral from Jesse's win humanitarian award acceptance speech. A petition to get Williams kicked off of Grey's Anatomy was launched. According to the petition, cr the creator who once assumed was not an African American. So they assumed that Jesse was not an African American. Oh, wow. And a lot of people, once they saw the speech, the, oh, he black. Okay. Um... They said that he gave off racist hate speech against law enforcement and white people. The complaint was followed with a never failing if this was a white person comparison. The petition received 5,000 signatures. They go with 7,000 and they got 5,000. So it's 5,000 crazy people out there that signed it. Um, basically, Shonda Rhimes said it doesn't matter because she's not letting Jesse go. It took Shonda Rhimes a few times to respond because I was wondering when she was going to respond to this, but they said she was on vacation without any type of yeah. Wi-Fi. Okay, so that's cool. But when she did respond, she took no time at all to tweet her approval. Following the news of petition, Shonda took to Twitter once again and said, mm, people, boo, don't need a petition. Shonda rules. She tweeted. <laughs> okay. So basically, um, and this is so funny because Shonda Rhimes is the creator of Grey's Anatomy. Which is on ABC. Mm -hmm. And guess who is the entertainment president of ABC? Who? Channing Dungy. A black woman. So where do you think he going? Nowhere. Nowhere. Yeah, so shout out to the 5,000 people um, that thought you were doing something. Child, sit down somewhere. So um, they said, so as Jesse said, if you have no interest in equal rights for black people, then do not make suggestions to those who do. Sit down. Hello. It's like, let him... I I think people are afraid that his voice was heard, so now they want to kind of... Okay, let's take away his okay. power. Or his That's a lot of people form. been saying the same thing. You got Kendrick Lamar been saying the thing. You got David Banner been saying the same thing. You got Beyonce. Well, we already see what happened to her when she performed. Oh, they, it gave they, her they hair. gave her hair. Yeah. Um, yeah. So it's just like... Who cares? 5,000 people. That's not going to... Now, what I am curious to see is the ratings for Grey's Anatomy. It's probably going to go up. It's going to go down, I think but, it's gonna but go I up. think it's going to go up because now black people are going to watch it. It's going to go up anyway because people talk and hate, but they still watch what he doing. Let's see how he acting. Like, they're going to watch it. Ratings are definitely going to go up. I'm pretty sure. I would bet money it would go up before it go down. Yeah, I believe it's Because even when people don't like you and talk shit, what they do, they still watch your every move. So. Right. All right, well, we're going to go ahead and take a quick break. And when we come back, we're going to bring back superstar Selena Johnson.